Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I've made it all the way back here to Conde Petit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, uh, by the way, I, I totally forgot about it. Um, but once you get out here on this outer continent, you know, once you get off of the mist continent, the ragtime mouse becomes available again for a total of six more encounters. At least on this disc. So between now and the last video, I went and encountered him. There's a couple forests around here. I encountered him six more times, answered his questions, and raised up my money a, a little bit. Seems like I'm a little low on money, but oh well. Anyway, let's go here to Conde Petit and see what we can see. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarfies block way out from shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try to go as far as we can. Yep. Maybe if we reason with them, they'll let us go. All right. Now, you could talk to a bunch of different people. I don't think anybody's going to really tell you anything. What does this guy say anything? Did you meet the pinty hits? Uh, a long time, a long time ago, a man once tried to head out east, but he hadn't undergone the ceremony, so he couldn't pass through. Yeah, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, essentially what they're saying is, no, in order for us to leave, uh, to go that way, we need to complete their stupid little ceremony, which I believe is about getting married. So, like, let's talk to this dude right here. Say, I want to get through here. Shamish Gatekeeper. Bletheration! Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to His Holiness. And where is His Holiness? I don't know where he is. Well, you're a big, fat, no good help. Well, I don't know how you're supposed to figure it out. I mean, I guess you're just supposed to wander around talking to everybody. But this guy looks pretty official. I mean, he's got, look, he's got a fancy priest hat and he's got a long beard, so you know he's important. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? Hi, I'm Father David. <laughs> Father David, ah, what a coincidence. My name's David, too. But I don't go by father. I, I, I prefer king. What are you doing hanging around in this hallway? Well, a uh, priest has much to worry about, you see? Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. Hmm. Tradition says that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I don't know your words, lad, but me thinks you understandin'. So we can go to that sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dagger. So, yeah, that's the deal. Oh, I love this part. What do you think? We could go if we get hitched, but there's no way we'd actually... Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> so Zidane's like, hey Dagger, I got this crazy idea. What if, I mean, and hear me out, what if we got married? But, 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 but let me, let me, let me, I know you're never going to agree to it. And she's like, yeah, sure, that's fine. What? So you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? Eh, but we've had so few young folk nowadays. We're, do we're down to 99 couples. I was worrying about that very thin. But what's the harm? Now we can have... A our hundredth ceremony. Uh, Dagger? W what's going on? Yeah, she agreed to that way too casually. She was like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's get married. I guess we're getting married. Spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, now how did I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We gotta do this ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Yeah, we're not that progressive. Now hold on a sec, Dagger. <coughs> Don't you get it? This is marriage. Ma marriage! No kidding, but we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but... But that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. Dagger's like, it'll be fun. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health... Uh, of course, we're just trying to get past this village. 
have the strength to carry you through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? Oh boy, here he goes on. And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. Okay, now, now he just, yeah, okay. May the blessing of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. <laughs> Playing hard to get, eh? Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, no, Dagger's not, like, she's literally just like, okay, this is how we need to continue to go see Kush. Like, her mind is on her objective. Happy fit! Now you need to announce your joining to the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Ah, well, time for us newlyweds to t make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Sit on, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys try to ruin our honeymoon. But you know can just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Uh, let's see. Now, it doesn't matter which one we choose. We can say, first, let's go see the twins. Or why don't you guys get married, too? Um, I mean, Quinna technically doesn't have a... Well, you know what? I'm just going to stop there because nowadays people are so sensitive. I don't want to finish that sentence. Um, it doesn't matter which one you say. You get an ATE if you choose this one. So let's choose this one. I'll explain what happens if you choose the other one. But let's just go ahead and choose this one. Why don't you guys get married, too? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. <laughs> so we get a forced ATE. I've never been able to say that word. And I'm not going to read through the text again. At least not David Heavenguard. But Vivi and Quinna, they're not even saying anything. They're just like, okay. Oi, so happy. Me, me too. Um, that actually looks creepy. Thief! The way Quinna was just like lurking towards him, that looked kind of creepy. But who's the thief? Hi guys, we're the newlyweds of Don and Dagger. Rally ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary then, are you? That's right, will you let us go through now? Rally ho, of course, safe journey to both of you. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! Okay, Zidane's really enjoying himself. Huh? Who's that? Mog, hurry! Kupo! Stop, thief! Did she just say Mog? What, what's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Mog is in Mog from Final Fantasy VI. Richard Watchman. They got away. <laughs> and we can't go on any further. Does anyone live out here? Of course no. It's forbidden. Ooh, you two thieves are always snitching food. Oh, yeah? I'll catch him next time. And there's those two. Oh, hi, guys. So you had your ceremony, right? Y yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. And now we continue. Now, if you had chosen the other thing, let's just go see the twins first. What would have happened is you would have taken control of Zidane. I think just Zidane and Dagger. Like, I think Vivi and Quinta would be out of the party. You'd go up to the twins right here. You'd talk to them. And we'd see that cutscene where uh, the little girl comes running with the Moogle. And then we'd be over here. And then Quinta and Vivi would rejoin us. They would tell us that they managed to sneak by without getting caught. And then Dagger would look at uh, Zidane and say, Oh, well... I guess there really was no reason for us to, uh, like, I guess we didn't really need the ceremony, did we? And then Zidane would have been like, man, you can't let me have anything, can you? But anyway, let's, uh, you know what, before I do anything, I'm going to, um, uh, there we go. Yes, I just de-equipmentized Quinn. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I'm going to. And let's go this way. But we saw that little girl in a previous ATE, or at least we saw the top of her head. Hey! She got purple hair and a little horn on her head. And I love this music that's playing. This is her theme. What's interesting about her theme is it's the same 
Kupapo! It's the same theme as um, Dagger's theme slash the world map theme slash, you know, basically the main theme in the game. It, just without the melody. Like, it's it's the chord sequence. It just doesn't have the melody. Hurry, Mog, before we get caught! Kupapo! What's wrong, Mog? Kupapo! Wait, wait, don't leave me here! <sighs> Stuck on a branch, betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me! I won't taste good! It's true! I taste awful! You heard her, Quinna. Ha <laughs> ha! I see. Too bad. That's so funny. But Moogle that ran away, a very strange color. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah! Oh, I love how Zidane just caught her. Gotcha. Th thanks. Are you okay? Y yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. Ooh. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. And we get to name her, so she's important. I don't know if it's Iko or Eco. I'm gonna say Eco. That's just what I'm gonna call her. <sighs> Eco. Man, that is a great game. And yes, I will let's play it at some sometime. Has nothing to do with this Eco though. The name's Eco. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduced yourself first. You got a problem? Oh, just straighten your head, Vivi. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm Dagger, and this is Vivi. Yeah? What about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Zidane. All right. So, Miss Eco, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Quinna. Hey, did she really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh, no. He's going to eat Mog. I don't think Quinna would eat a Moogle. I, I don't know. He thought about eating uh, Eco. Do you live nearby, Eco? Yeah, beyond this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Well, why don't we take her home? Yes, yes. Anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. Dang! Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Dang, shot down. I want to be your friend, too. All right, then let's just go to our new friend's house. Man, she basically... That's like those those TikToks you see where it's like... You see a guy and a girl walking, and it's like, Hey, are you two together? And the guy's like, Yep, we sure are. And then the girl's like, No, 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 we're, we're just friends. <laughs> that's exactly what that happened just there. Anyway, we got a new party member. Yeah, that's why we had to uh, de-equipmentize Quinnon, because he left to make room for our fourth party member slot. Okay, she has a flute, a feather hat, a glass armlet, a silk shirt, and a sapphire. Now, um, the sapphire uh, has a summon attached to it that apparently she can use. And if you look at her abilities, uh, she has access to white magic. She's basically, she's not a clone by any chance, but she's very similar to Dagger. Um, I'll talk more about that later. But she can wear rackets just like Dagger can. Now, see, Dagger can wear rods, and this little girl can wear flutes, but they can both wear rackets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her... I've saved literally every piece of equipment that I bought uh, that I didn't synthesize. So I'm going to give her all these old um, pieces of equipment with old abilities attached to it so she can learn them. Now, I am going to splurge on Ability Up and uh, eventually level up, but I want to show one little thing off first. You can run into battles here, so, uh, oh, let's actually turn on Ability Up, right? That's all we need. But right now, let's collect treasure by uh, going up here, grabbing this chest, which is a remedy. And then I guess we go over here. Du, 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 du. And here's a strange statue. It has a blue stone. Uh, should I take it out or leave it alone? Uh, let's take it out. So I took out the blue stone. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that's all I can do here. I'd like to get into a battle. 
so I can show something. Now, to get that chest, we need to go this way. Uh, oh, I'll go up. Uh, too bad. Oh, here we go. You can do something with those oglops, but it's totally not worth it. I'm not even gonna bother. All right, we got some new enemies here. These are trolls. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Eco summon Fenrir. And then I'll just uh, steal and just attack. Terrestrial Rage. Now, there are two types of summons in the game. Like, when you summon something, there are two types of animations. There's one that's really long, like this one, and then there's one that's really short. The really short one does less damage, but they're still gonna do... It's still gonna do good damage. Anyway, if you do that for the first time with Eco, you'll get a little bit of... Should get a little bit of dialogue. Okay, I didn't get dialogue. I was supposed to get dialogue. Oh, they berserked Dagger. Why didn't I get dialogue? That's weird. Okay, what is supposed to happen? Alright, now I'm just gonna attack because these guys are starting to hurt me. What's supposed to happen when you summon uh, with Eco for the first time, uh, Zidane will say, Hey, Dagger, was that an Eidolon? And, and Dagger will say, I think so. And Dagger will be like, how, how can she use Eidolons? And Dagger will be like, I don't know. But yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know why it didn't happen this time. Oh well. No big deal. These guys are mean. Um, if I hadn't already summoned, I would have... Uh, I would have um, used Bio on them, but I think, yeah, see, Zidane took that one out because he's berserked, and I'm actually glad he took that one out because everybody else can work on this guy. All right, everybody's just going to get berserked. I need to put on clear-headed. I think that also protects from berserk. All right, he did now. Huh. I, I don't know why we didn't get the dialogue this time. Oh, well. Because of my practice run, I got the dialogue. Oh well, whatever. It's not a big deal. It just... They have a Final Fantasy VI moment where they're like, Oh my god, she summoned something! Okay, she used magic! Alright. Well, that was the whole reason why I did that, but whatever. I'm gonna give her something else now. I'm going to give her... This. Or should I do that? Ooh. I'm gonna give her, well, I'm gonna give her this. I wanted to learn level up. I'm gonna give her this so she has access to regen, which is amazing. Uh, and I think everybody else should wear, um, I think everybody else should wear, uh, clear headed. Oh, Zidane doesn't have clear headed. Never mind. Um, but Dagger does. And I'm pretty sure, yep, he does too. Okay, let's just continue on. And we received a tent. But yeah, um, Eco is apparently another summoner slash white mage. And we got a redstone. Now, I think... Oh, no, I just want to go this way. Yeah, there's oglops here. Yeah, you can catch them if you want. Or, or if you're fast enough, I was not fast enough. You can collect Oglops and show them to, I think, the people in Conde Petit. And get some, and get an Oglop card, I think is how that works. Totally not worth the effort. But there you go. And you can steal high potions from those trolls, so, yeah, there you go. Now if we go up here, hey, it's Stiltskin! Hey, bud! 
You want to buy a set of Magic Tag 10 in Ether for 666 gil? Ugh, I don't know if I want to buy that. Uh, could you like throw in one more, um... Like throw in a potion or something, or... Or, or maybe leave one of those items out, or, or can I just give you like literally one extra gil? <laughs> uh, that's like the meme I saw on Facebook where it's like... This lady goes into a fast food place or a diner or whatever, and her bill is like six dollars and sixty six cents, and she's like, "Oh heck no, let me get like a corn dog or two or something like that," and bumps the price up a little and says, "This lady over here fighting off the powers of the devil with with a corn dog." Anyway, let's buy his stuff because you always buy from Stiltskin. Thanks, buddy. With this money, I can continue my journey. Condi Bati is a beautiful place. <coughs> I know. I've been there. I had my wedding there, buddy. Which reminds me, how did you guys get out here? Um, this is Suzuna. Are you two married? Um, anyway, I have a letter for Suzi Suzuna. Thanks for delivering the mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him. Koopo! Alright, it's been six months since I started living in Condé Petit. The food here is great and the people are very nice, Koopo. But, but, the only thing I can't get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Koopo. Ha ha ha. Village life sounds so hard, Koopo. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery, and we get a Koopo nut. Yay! Anything? Nope. All right. Now, I think to progress, I want to go this way. Now, I just realized, how did Stiltskin and Suzuna get out here? Ah, oh, we got a new enemy, Ochu. Should recognize him from previous Final Fantasy games. He's weak to fire, so I'm gonna use uh, Fura, and uh, I think I'll just attack. I could... This party setup is kind of awkward. I would love to have Zidon do more stealing, but he happens to be like the most offensive character. Besides Vivi, though, but Vivi costs, you know, MP. I may have Dagger use a few more summons in other instances. Or summon a few more times. She only has one summon. Right now. What, did he slow him down? No, he sure didn't. Oh, he won't slow him down because he's got auto haste on. Yeah. So I don't think my he can ever be slowed down. Because an auto ability from an accessory negates any spell, any counter spell to that ability. Alright, let me just, uh... Man, Iko's taking a lot of damage. It's because I got her on really bad equipment. But, I don't know what else to do, you know? I suppose I could have Zidane wear Protect Girls, just in case her HP gets too low. What's that? <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, we get a nice little transition to FMV, just like in Final Fantasy VIII. Well, that looks ominous. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, though. Is that the sanctuary? Sure looks like it. Alright, now before we go any further... I want to do something with Zidane. I actually want to give him a different piece of equipment. And the reason being... It's not its not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to give him the power belt for now. And the reason I want to give him the power belt is it has MP attack. And that's just going to make what's coming up just a little... Just a little... Just a little bit more efficient. Um, what MP attack does is it, uh, uses, uh, it does damage, it, it takes MP from him, and it does a little bit more damage. Uh, let's take off Bird Killer, he's wearing Beast Killer, that's good. Maybe I need Devil Killer, you know, I probably need Devil Killer, but I may not. But we'll have it, just in case. What else do we need? I think that's good. Yeah, I think we're good. It's not the end of the world if you don't have MP attack. I just figure we'll do it. 
What the? Oh, looks like we're fighting a boss. I don't know if this is a devil type enemy or not, but I'm just going to assume it is. Just because I played Final Fantasy VI and I remember... I remember Foon Baba, and that's who this is. Oh, no, it's not. Why did I think it was Foon Baba? This is Hiligigars. Why did I think... Whatever. Uh, this guy... Uh, oh, wow, now Dagger's got the evil number. This guy is susceptible to both uh, silence and slow, and I highly advise trying to get that stuff on him. Particularly silence. Slow is not the end of the world, but it would be nice. Okay, we or yeah, we got silence on him. That's the most important thing. Now, unfortunately, okay. I'm going to... Oh, we did get slow on him. Now, okay. I'm going to cast regen on Eco since she has the lowest amount of HP. And I'm going to cast float on the entire party. Um, because even though he's slowed up... He can still, um, use Earthquake spells, so yeah, for some odd reason. Now, he doesn't really have items that are worth stealing, so... There you go. Only reason I even st bothered to try and steal was because... Well, to work on Sedan's ability later on. And I'm gonna cast Bio on him. And get float on the entire party and just have Zidane attack. Why is Regen not working? Oh no, there it is. There it is. Alright, so now the party's floating. Now this knockdown thing, he probably just knocked Zidane back down to Earth. Oh no, Zidane's still up. Okay, you just attack. Uh... Uh, you know what? You do, uh, you do cure on everybody because... Yeah, actually, you do cure on everybody because we took a little bit of damage. Um, I'm not going to cast another bio. But you saw how much damage uh, Zidane did there? That was good. All right. Yeah, float wears off, like, super quick, though. That's the problem. So I'm going to cast it again. Um, do have to be somewhat mindful of Dagger's MP. Everybody's back down to Earth. And I think we'll just attack. Aha! You try to cast something and you couldn't. I'll keep Dagger on standby. Hip hop? I never liked hip hop. Uh. No, high potion. Man, float does not last long at all. Maybe I should cast another bio. Goodness, we really like uh, attacking Zidane, don't we? I only have so many high potions. Alright. Let's go for another bio. Let's get another float. Though, I, I bet Vivi kills him. Yeah, he did. He just topples backwards. That that last bio was probably unnecessary. But there it is. Alright, well, we learned some stuff. Oh, we learned a bunch of stuffs. Why did I think that was Foon Baba? Whatever. That big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Eco. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, that's not the way to my house. That's the way to the Aoife tree. This way to my place. Well, I was only looking at the mountains. The Aoife tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the Aoife tree. The Aoife tree. Let's go. All right. Well, before we go, let's grab this. That's another yellow. It's a yellow stone. Let's take it out. So I've got three stones now. Yeah, if I go upwards, we'll go... 
We'll be out on the world map, but we'll be in the direction of the Aoife tree, which is not where we want to go. Let's make some party adjustments. Uh, let's go back to the to the running shoes. Um, so there's that. Um, wow, he actually used up a lot of MP. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. He does have... No, he does not. Okay. So I'll go back to Bird Killer. Um, Man Eater. That should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, did she learn anything? Uh, I, she learned Confuse, I think. Uh, I could give her a Ritual Hat. Nah. She learned all that. Oh, why does she not have uh, Survival Vest and Locomotion? She should have been doing that. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Vivi learned um, that thing. Ooh, he can learn Thundara. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, why did he not have Thundara? Wait. Wait, huh? So he has Thundara. Oh. It, it looked... For a second I thought it said he hadn't learned Thundara. I wonder if my game had glitched. Ah, Sapphire. I don't remember where I got... I think I got that from the monster I just fought. High Tide. I'm going to give it to Vivi for literally no other reason than I have nothing else to work uh, on for him. But uh, she learned uh, all she needs to from the air racket. So I'm going to go ahead and give her this Maltina racket because it's better damage. And I'm going to give her, uh, yeah, this for clear headed and float. Uh, so I guess she could have been helping out with uh, casting float, but it's okay. Clear headed in silence. Yeah, so she'll learn clear headed that much quicker. All right, so we're in good shape for now. And, yeah. Let's just go this way. Now, to go upward is to progress, but I'm gonna go this way for now. There's a couple things here. There's a chest, which is an ether, and there is a green stone. All right, so I have taken a green stone, a blue stone, a red stone, and a yellow stone. When you get all of them, and you don't have to do this. This is not that big a deal. It's just a little thing you can do. Work your way all the way back. Uh, not there. Go, yeah, this way. All right, let's just uh, let's go this way. Enemies here are starting to get a little bit harder. Alright, well, Eco learned clear-headed. Uh, which she was working on for that thing. Alright, now give me one second. Okay, um, basically I just went back to Conde Petit and uh, rested up at the end because I, my MP was a little low. So, yeah, there we go. So anyway, if you go down this way, you come to this fancy statue. And this statue gives you the option to take all of the stones that we picked up from the other statues and put them in the holes here. So, blue stone, red stone, yellow stone, green stone, doesn't matter which uh, uh, order you do it. Hmm, something came out from the back, and we got a moonstone. Well, that's nice. What does the moonstone even do? I'm guessing it's another one of those uh, jewels that I can wear. I don't even know what it is. Actually, let's look at key items. It's not here. Oh, I never even looked at the Virgo Stelazio. Watching the sunset from Cape, from the Cape, Virgo whispered, my only wish is to be with you now. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I don't know what the Moonstone is. Um... Magic tag? When did I get that? Eh, whatever, I don't care. Alright, now let's go back to where we were. Alright, so... Ico or Ico just learned Shell, uh, that's from the Maltina Racket. And Zidane just learned uh, Locomotion. Oh, he's still working on Mug, though. I don't really care about Mug. But I have him learn it just for the heck of learning it. 
All right, we are almost done. Okay, um, Dagger got berserked in the last video, uh, last battle, so I'm guessing, uh, Clear-Headed does not protect against that. Eh, oh well, never mind then. They just seem to miss, uh, more when I'm wearing it, I don't know. But she did learn auto-reflect, so I can get her off of this thing. And what should I give her? I can give her the Sapphire for High Tide. When did I get another Sapphire? Eh, we'll just have her work on body temp. She's done with it soon. Here, let's uh, heal up a little bit. I should've just done a couple, whatever, whatever. <coughs> All right, now let's just go up this way. All right, now we are on the world map again, and I'm going to head... Eco's hometown is literally right here, or home place. Okay, so I uh, didn't get into any battles. I think you can run into another friendly creature around here, but I say pass him up. Uh, let's save. In the next video, we'll enter this area and see what we can see. Until then, I'm 480 Volts. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace is...